This city, this amazing city, so many people, so many different lives, all of these people, every single one of them all need Jesus. I see young people, amazing young people with their whole lives ahead of them, but without knowing the reason they were born or why, what kind of future is that? I see thousands of young people in this city who do not know that there is a God who loves them and a Saviour who died for them. I see young people, thousands of young people who, who think church is dead and boring and irrelevant and that Jesus is just a story. I see young people going down a road of pleasure that ends nowhere. That are chasing the dream of a better job that leads to nowhere, that are simply lost and confused and feel like they don't belong anywhere. I also see, I also see a youth ministry full of passionate young people, young people who have encountered Jesus and love God with everything that they have. They sing with everything and live their lives for God with everything. Young people who use their gifts and creativity to see God's kingdom come in their time, in their day. Young people who are not afraid to love to a different standard, who choose to reach out to those with a message of love, truth and freedom that need it the most. I see a place where thousands of young people come to worship and to find God. A kind of place so vibrant, so passionate, so real, so powerful that it becomes hard to ignore. A light on a hill which does not hide its light. I'm passionate about young people meeting with God, meeting with each other and discovering who they were born to be, discovering the potential that God's placed inside of them and making choices that are going to set them up for a great future. I love coming on a Friday and I've said it before and I'll say it again, my favourite part of Destiny is the young people um, and I love them um, and I just love seeing the passion that they've got and I love seeing the vitality they've got for life, um, the vitality they've got for Destiny and the things that they're involved with um, and it just gets me really excited to see them. I've seen people come and seen them change and I've been in Destiny long enough now to see people come from being a year nine who knows little about God, possibly even been unchurched, and come to Destiny for the first time not knowing what it's about, and I then see them in three, four years' time, sold out for God and wanting to make a difference in their life, and see them go off to university, knowing that they'll go and make a difference. I believe anything can happen. I genuinely believe anything can happen. I believe we can pray for someone's mum who's got cancer and they can get better on the spot like that. But also, I believe that people can be set free from from like, from whatever's holding them. I believe people can be set free from drug addiction in the praise and worship on a Friday night because it says that the Lord inhabits the praises of his people and where he is there is freedom. And I think Nottingham needs someone to take a role in leading it, leading the youth culture rather. I think Destiny's got a really pivotal role to play. I think that we've got a bunch of young people who are fired up and understand the caught hold of what God wants to do. And God's heart really is to, to grab a hold of the young people and, and shed his love on them and, and draw them you know, to where he wants them to be and, and draw them out of where they are. And some people don't realise there's that alternative. I think that um, we've got a powerful role to play with our young people in, um, you know, in schools, in colleges, um, out on the streets of Nottingham, and um, bringing thousands and thousands of young people to know Christ and just to live this amazing, abundant life that he's got for them. And um, yeah, it's an amazing task. It's a huge task, but we serve a huge God and we can do it. Incredibly, like, I can't believe when I first came here how many youth I saw and, and just s such a diversity of them, like girls, guys, different like races and just getting on so well and um, just finding the law of God because it's different and actually being impacted with that 
like coming back with more stories where their family lives have been changed and they're going into schools and they're talking about their faith with so much courage. I mean, coming from a background where there was only Chinese people with like youth group being 12, this just really revolutionized my, my vision in knowing that God is great and about something so much bigger than anything that we've seen so far. That's it. Not conform to the world, but being transformed by the renewing of your mind and the rest of it. Um, and just being able to kind of read and absorb and pray um, and just see the benefits that it's done to me, and what it's done for me, um, it's amazing. Um, coming from a background whereby, you know, a Catholic background and you know, the Bible wasn't necessarily stressed or kind of imposed on me, as to say, um, you know, I missed out on a lot. So to kind of have the, the Bible in my, my life at a mature age of 19, but so now, you know, it's, it's paid dividends. I think excellence is important because if you go to something that is excellent, you know that person has thought of you and that you are worth it. And I think excellence speaks of worth. And I think especially at a place like Destiny, where we've got um, young people coming in that maybe in the week don't understand how worthy they are, actually to come to an event that is of an excellent quality speaks something of the worth we put on them to say we want to put on an event that is amazing because you're worth it. and. Um, and yeah, I think the excellence that you instill at this stage, as, as things change, as things develop, um, if you've got a standard of excellence, that's the thing that will, re will remain. An incredible phrase, lean in youth culture in Nottingham. Um, but basically, like what it means is, it is, you know, Christianity is the way, it's not a way, it's the way. Um, and we're modelling Christianity, which is the way. Um, and we believe that is the leading culture um, and the way to live, purity, forgiveness, giving, you know, we, we believe that's the way. Um, and we want Destiny to lead that way in Nottingham. And so when people come to Nottingham, it's like, well, Destiny is leading the things that are going out, you know, down here, music and things like that. Destiny are leading that culture, do you know what I mean? You know, God's spoken that to us, and I don't understand why that wouldn't happen. I just think that. God, as soon as you meet God, you can't help but, but love him when you realise who he really is and what he's really done for you. And uh, I believe he's the answer for everybody. There's not a person on the planet that doesn't need Jesus and there's not a person on the planet who isn't destined for an amazing future with him if they'll allow him into their life. So, yeah, why wouldn't 5,000 young people be in destiny when there's this incredible person here um, waiting to meet with them? Uh, I, believe, I believe that's where we're going. And... Um, I believe it's just the beginning of, of what God wants to do in our city.